once was a little boy who was given the most wonderful present for his birthday. It was a box of tin soldiers. There were 25 soldiers in all, and they were brothers. They had all been made, you see, from the same old tin spoon. They all looked exactly alike, except for the 25th soldier. He had only one leg because the toy maker had run out of tin. He stood as firmly on one leg as the other stood on two. After his friends went home, Charles brought his new toys to the playroom where there were spinning tops, a wind-up train, a music box merry-go-round, several stuffed animal dolls. But by far the most beautiful of all was a castle made of cardboard with towers and turrets and many rooms inside. Outside were tiny trees and a lovely glass lake on which swam two white china swans. Soldiers, bright and early, we're going on maneuvers by the big oak tree, so get a good night's sleep. Charles, come on. Company dismissed. See you tomorrow. The playroom stood silent for some time, and then suddenly...
know I'll find the perfect one for me. One to love deeply and eternally. He's still far away, but I know I'll find him someday. At last, there'll be the perfect one for me, my perfect one. I close my eyes and I see him, tall and handsome, standing by my side. I cannot reach out and touch him. That makes me want him much more. Others may say it's just an empty prayer, but he'll be there. Perfect one for me, and he'll be like my every memory. Though I've never met him, I know I'll never forget my perfect one. We'll meet and know our dreams have just begun. And loneliness is done for me and my perfect one. Oh, she's leaving already. Don't go. I wish she could come back. How beautiful she is. How wonderful! And she stands on one leg as I do. She seems so sad. I wish I could meet her. Maybe. Maybe what? Come on! <laughs> She's a princess. She lives in a palace. You live in a box and with twenty-four brothers. <laughs> a bit crowded, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Still, if she got to know me, really know me, perhaps we'd be perfect for one another. Look, you! I saw her first. You hear me? You just wait until tomorrow, you little tin troublemaker. Though the castle seemed so far away from the window ledge, the tin soldier truly believed in his heart that one day he would be with the beautiful princess. He longingly thought of her all through the night. And into the morning. All right, lover boy, stare all you want to, but don't say I didn't warn you. You hear me? <laughs> oh no! Whether it was a jack in the box or simply the wind which blew open the window, well, that's hard to say. But the tin soldier fell down and down, spinning round and round, until at last he landed in the tall grass. Charles searched most of the morning for the little tin soldier. At times, Charles came so close he almost stepped on him. But the tin soldier was wedged in beneath the tall grass and couldn't be seen. Pardon me, uh, but what variety of vegetation are you? Vegetation? Well, you know, plant. What sort are you? Are you um, edible or a non? I'm not a plant at all. Well, then why are you planted here in the garden? I'm a tin soldier from the playroom. I fell from that window up there. See that little boy over there? Yep. Well, he's looking for me. Oh, you escaped. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> no, I fell. It was an accident. Oh, well then why don't you call out to him and let him know where you are? It wouldn't be proper just to call out. You see, I'm a soldier in uniform. Charles! Charles! 
still out there. It's cold out. Look, it looks like it's going to rain. You still have 24 soldiers left. But he's the bravest of them all. I have to find him. Charles! Okay. Now you've done it. <laughs> he's gone back inside. What you smiling about? Aren't you scared? I'm scared, but I'm gonna be brave. The bravest tin soldier of all. Yeah, brave and lost. <laughs> I'll get back home. I know it now. Wherever this leads me, whatever obstacles get in my way, I know right here, if I'm brave, I'll make it. And when I do, I'll have proved myself worthy of the princess's love. Boy, you're one strange plant. When you fear life's direction has taken a wrong turn and your hopes are a fading mirage, you must stand tall and grand, eyes straight before you, unafraid of the dangers at hand. Stand tall, stand tall, and the battle is almost won. If you're stranded, alone, lost and bewildered, and the odds say you'll never Succeed. Look to your heart for that last trace of courage, and you'll find it is all that you need to stand tall, stand tall, and the battle is almost won. Hide away. Your tears never show your fears And with every step move on to victory Stand tall, stand tall And you'll rise as high as the sun Stand tall, stand tall and the battle is almost won. Later that afternoon, along came two ragged little boys. Soldier boy. Big deal. You think you're lost now? Just wait. We're gonna see if little soldier boy knows how to sail. Perfect fit. Watch this. The paper boat spun around as it picked up speed. Then suddenly it shot down into the sewer. Inside the dark sewer, he heard strange, eerie noises. But the tin soldier stood up brave, steadfast, and true. As his voyage continued, the tin soldier came upon a pack of sewer rats. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. 
Indeed we do. <laughs> I'm on a journey, and I must be on my way, so if you let me pass... A journey, is it? How nifty. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. I demand you, let me pass. He demands. He demands. <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> no one enters the kingdom of the rent. Better turn in another direction. That is, of course, unless you're gonna pay. Gotta pay the toll, gotta pay the toll. What's it doing here? No canoeing here. Better fear for your life is in danger. Stranger, you got to pay the toll. Gotta pay the toll, gotta pay the toll. Got to pay the toll. Or you'll regret it. Got to pay the toll. And don't forget, cause we have ways of creeping up on you. <laughs> No one enters the kingdom of the rats. Better turn in another direction. That is, of course, unless you're gonna pay. Gotta pay the toll, gotta pay the toll. Gotta pay the toll, gotta pay the toll. Well, let's get this over with. What kind of toll did you have in mind? Now you're Ew. talking. <laughs> toll, toll, toll. <laughs> Some rotten potato, the bones of a fish Wilted brown lettuce is all that we wish A burnt bit of bacon, a green piece of stew The rind of a melon would certainly do Moldy old jelly stuck to the jar A stale crummy cupcake is better by far Give something greasy and goofy with goo We'll open this toll gate and let you go through <laughs> Do you expect to pay the toll? I mean, yeah. any food will do, right, boys? Right! <laughs> I have nothing to give you. What is that you said? I have nothing to give you, but if you let me go through now, next time... Next time? If you don't pay now, there won't be a next time. Yeah. yeah you know what right. I've been thinking, boys? A nice little tin trinket like this might make a nice medallion, yeah. eh? <laughs> I must get back for the princess. Let's grab him, boys. Okay. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Grab him. Grab him. Oh, no. Get him. Grab him. Grab him. Come on. Grab him. Come on. 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 The current grew stronger, the light grew dimmer, and the tin soldier heard a new terrifying sound up ahead. Suddenly, the boat shot out of the drainage pipe and fell into the deep waters of the Great Canal. Princess. Though we've never met, never touched, though I may never see you again, you will always be with me, here, in my heart. He sank down and down and down. Then all at once, the tin soldier was swallowed by an enormous fish. The fish sprang this way and that, and suddenly became still. It had been caught by a fisherman, brought to the marketplace, 
and sold to a woman who lived in the town. The next thing the tin soldier knew... Charles! Charles, come down here this minute. What's the matter? How many times have I told you not to play with food? I didn't! No, you didn't? Okay. Would you explain to me how this soldier got into the fish? My tin soldier! You found it! Thank you, Mom! Wait a minute. I couldn't be. Could it be? It's strange, so. Congratulations, sir. We're very proud of you. so sad. When I watched you from the windowsill last night, I thought you only had one leg, like I do. I thought we'd be perfect for one another. Oh, don't you see? Just because we're different, that doesn't matter. You are perfectly brave and perfectly handsome and strong and perfectly true. And yes, you are the perfect one for me. Stop the music! Stop the music! That's it then, is it? Well then, if I can't have the princess, no one shall! Princess, you mustn't be afraid. We'll be together forever. The playroom toys watched as the tin soldier and his princess danced away to forever. In the morning, Charles went to the playroom. He wondered where his brave little tin soldier had gone, and where was the dancing princess? When he looked at the empty grate where last night the big fire had been, he found the princess's golden star melted into a lump of tin. This was all that remained. At first he was sad, but then Charles realized that in some magical way they would be together forever. As he carefully held them in his hand, he saw that the tin soldier had melted into the shape of a perfect heart, a small tin heart, brave and true.
to a gingerbread star. Cause if you believe in make believe, no far away dream is too far. Pretend you can climb up a rainbow. You'll find there's a beautiful view Cause if you believe in make-believe Your happiest wishes come true Pretend you set sail on a movie You'll fly to a gingerbread star Cause if